Hi there, this is Rosie from Buggy Baby. Today I'm going to be doing a versus review comparing two very versatile high chairs. They are the Joy Multiply 6-in-1, there in the left, and the Chico Poly Progress, there on the right. Now if you're looking for a high chair for your little one, you probably noticed that these kind of products on the market do more than just what the high chairs we had when we were kids. These are really versatile little numbers that go don't just let you um, feed your child, but also convert into like chairs and little dining tables as well. And both these products have lots of different modes, so that's what we're going to be looking and comparing today. So starting with the Joy Multiply. So the Joy Multiply 6-in-1 review is going to be unboxing and assembling this lovely high chair. Um, the one I'm looking at today is in the Flowers Forever pattern, but it's also available in other lovely prints, including a fern, which I've got my eye on. Um, looking around the box, which is quite heavy, by the way, which is uh, reassuring, um, we can see that it's um, advertised as a 6-in-1. And there we can see just some of the modes that this high chair goes into. So we've got a high chair there and sort of a table there. And this multitasker takes the cake mm, with six modes on the menu, from baby to high chair to fixed or portable booster, toddler chair and play table. So that is quite a lot in one box. Let's open up and have a look. Now that I've got the lid open on the Joy Multiply 6-in-1, you can see that everything is quite nicely tightly packed in. So I'm going to start by taking this out and uh, we'll go through each piece. So here are all the parts of the Joy Multiply nicely packed together. The first out of the box was this grey item here, which I'm assuming is the footrest. Then moving down from the top, here we have the tray, and this shows all the different modes that we're going to be able to set this up in. So the lounger and the snack tray and the booster seat and stuff, so that's cool. Um, has a dish dishwasher proof lid on the tray, so that's good for keeping things really, really clean. So that's the tray. And what next? Okay. Here we have a grey booster seat with straps and some kind of harness. Can you see that? And then this is the frame itself with the legs. And I can see here the main print of this one, which I mentioned earlier, is Flowers Forever, very pretty. Here's one of the base legs. The main frame of the high chair here. And then the other piece of the seat fabric in a nice pink color. So let's get that all out so you can see exactly what you get in the box. So there are all the pieces that you can expect when you buy this, um, the tray, the main frame, the leg, the seat fabrics, and the lift-off booster down there, which I'm intrigued to know more about. Um, and this is sort of obviously the, the seat that um, goes onto the frame itself. So I'm going to start by setting it up into the first mode that you might use it for, which is suitable from six months onwards. And the first thing you'll need to do is pop the legs onto the frame. And this puzzled me a little bit because I was looking for two rods that fit into this piece here. And Sure enough, they are in this little part of the box here. And so, so that's great. It's just what I need to get started. Aha! So the first step is to put those two white rods that I found at the end of the box into the bottom bracket like this, and they slide in with a nice click. And now I can actually unfold the main part of the high chair itself, the Joy Multiply, by going underneath this Joy logo here, pushing and clicking, and there we go. That all unfolds beautifully. Now grab the footrest that we found first out of the box and push that under here, like so. Then you just need to grab the other two legs that was in that cardboard box part at the beginning and slot them on like this. I've got the high chair with the footrest up like this. So that's one. And now let's do the other. And then to finish this part, you just need to slot these down like this. Like 
And voila, stage one complete. That is the frame done. So now let's look at the seats. To do this next part, you will need this gray part here, which is the booster seat, which has these arrows at the side, and then the main high chair seat, which has got the, um, the seat fabric on. Um, and what we need to do is thread these through the back of here. So this looks pretty easy. I turn to the back, I can see the holes which these go into, so I just need to thread them through. So that's firstly from the back through there. So from the booster to the back of the main seat, through the back, out the other side, and then again, can you see that? Through to the front. And repeat the other side. And finally, bring the front of the harness up through underneath as well. And you have nearly done that part. And with the harness to do three, what you're now going to do is put the whole of the reverse of the seat into the booster and click it into place. Some neat little poppers here to keep things safely stashed. So the seat fabrics won't move around when your baby is having fun in the seat. And now what you're going to do is grab the booster plus fabrics and harness unit that you just created and slit it, slot it even onto the frame like so. And then you can see that that is now complete and in high chair mode. Now, one thing that the Joy Multiply does come with that I really like is this insert here, which is um, a very pretty flowery print here, but more importantly, um, it allows your baby from six months to sit in the high chair and even if they're quite small they can snuggle into this and be really really comfortable so that just goes over the top of the regular seat fabrics and you would pop that in using the harness just thread them through and there it goes and you can use it in that mode from six months um, which is just as your baby of course is starting to take food and just to demonstrate that sort of six month suitability, um, I popped in my little dummy baby here, very cute. And we have this five point harness here, which um, I've just been playing around with and confirm it's really nice and easy to use. Nice and adjustable, clicks in easily. We can do all this with the straps to make it suitable. So there we are. That's what I would say is the first mode of the Joy Multiply. So that's sort of a high chair mode um, for very young babies who are just um, starting to wean, so six months plus, um, with this removable insert to um, keep them nice and cosy. The fabrics incidentally feel really, really soft, but I know that they're wipe clean as well, which obviously is absolutely essential for a high chair. So I've taken my baby out now, um, just to show you a few more functions what I like about this high chair mode. The first being the reclined seat. So by squeezing this handle at the back by this button, you can click it into several recline positions. So you can go from upright through to, um, you know, more of this nice life back position, which I imagine would be a real benefit for mums um, and, and obviously their babies when they just had some milk or taken some food and want to just maybe lie back and have a bit of a relax. Um, turning to the front of the Joy Multiply and moving down, um, you can see here that we have a footrest which is adjustable. So we can move this um, up and down and into different positions, which is ideal for baby as they want to um, either sit upright or relaxed and of course as you'd expect these legs are height adjustable so we can see here one through to five so height five different height positions so that's useful so next up in our piece of kit we have the multiply um, joy multiply tray um, which um, I've got this little bit of packaging on the front just to show you all the different modes that it goes into. So we've already looked through the little lounger mode um, and the little bites mode, which is going to be snacks. Um, so if you want to give your baby first snacks, then all you need to do is grab this rather large but very chunky and sizable tray. Um, no mess, no spills, I reckon, and slot it onto the um, top of the Joy Multiply chair like this. Oh by pressing the button at the front. 
So that releases it and puts it on nice and sturdily. And you can obviously pull out the depth of the tray to be nearer or further away from your little one. So that's really good. The cup holder is another useful feature. As I mentioned before, this is a dishwasher safe layer that you can just remove and pop in the dishwasher to get it really, really sparkling. You don't have to put the tray um, through a deep wash, deep clean each time your child spills a load of tomato sauce all over it. I'm just going to show you in a bit more detail the um, this calf rest piece. Um, it took a little bit of a welly to get this to work, but once it's in, it's great. You just literally whoop, have it this way round. And if you want it at the top, you push it in. You sort of have to push and bend down to get it to work. And there it is, really strongly in. And if you want to take it out, you just flick it out and put it in the next height. And then finally, the bottom level here. Really good. If you want to drop the height of the chair downwards, then that's pretty simple. Um, you just need to find these um, catches which are located, let me see, ah, underneath the Joy logo, nope that's not right, where are they, ah they're there, that's what you need, that one there, so that adjusts the height of the legs. going down and up and this one allows you to fold the chair into a standing mode. So in many ways um, what I've shown you so far with the adjustable height legs, the calf rest, um, you know the five point harness and the soft fabrics all very nice but all quite standard for high chairs these days. What makes the uh, multiply um, more useful is its ability to have lots of different modes and one of these is the booster seat mode. So perhaps you're going to take your baby out to eat at a restaurant or to grandma's house and you don't have a high chair, you don't want to take the whole thing so you can simply lift this part off by pressing these buttons here. And this is the booster seat, so let's give that a try. And lift that away. And that creates a very sturdy little booster seat that I can take away with me. And what I discovered, which I absolutely love, is in this little compartment underneath the booster seat, if you pull it out, you will find um, some straps. Now these straps allow you to extend them out and then tie both sides so that the booster seat can sit on a dining table. So that's really, really useful, um, like I say, when you're out and about. So we've done high chair mode, we've done suitability for um, your six month old baby thanks to the insert and we've done booster seat mode. So now we are going to look at the final two modes of this amazing high chair, which is toddler chair mode. So once we've removed the booster, all you need to do to make this into a suitable chair for a toddler is take off the leg rest and there we have it, a very nice sturdy chair for your toddler to sit on. And according to the Joy user manual, I can also create a mini table from this frame here. So I'm going to attempt to do that now. So I've unclipped the legs, which are now over here, leaving me with this structure here. And now I need to just remove this, I believe. So where are the release buttons for that? Let's have a look. They look like they should be here. So the aim of the game is to get this part off. And sure enough, by unreleasing those catches there, we're left like that. Now, and now to create the table, you just need to grab the tray, not what I was expecting, turn it over and plug in the legs like this. All right. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, that's clicked in well. And then these two legs like so, I think. Maybe that way. Yeah, that's good. Now that one. Wow, I'm rather impressed with myself actually. There we have a 
fantastic little table and because the um, high chair itself in, is wheeled this table wheels too so all you need to do when it's time for your toddler to sit up and have a snack is grab this little chair bring it to their little table and look at that the perfect little toddler setup one thing that's really important about a high chair, however many modes it has, is how easy is it is to fold once you're done with it. Because not all kitchens are massive and you want to be able to put it out of the way when you're done with it. And the Joy Multiply is really good for this. It's got a lovely um, straight leg fold, which is operated just by clicking underneath the Joy uh, logo here. There's a button here. So bring that together and that brings the legs nice and straight like this. So you can see that would fit, you know, with the seat upright into a cupboard, take the booster off, you've got even more space saved. And that is why the Joy Multiply is such a great investment. At £150 RRP or less at Buggy Baby right now, um, you can buy not only a high chair with an infant insert, suitable from six months, removable to make uh, room as your baby grows, a booster seat to take out and about um, with a recline function. And then, as we saw earlier, a traditional high chair with the adjustable height settings and footrest. And then finally, um, a height adjustable seat for a toddler. And then this lovely little toddler playtime setup. So if you'd like to know more about this product, please visit buggybaby.co.uk. Hi there, this is Rosie from Buggy Baby. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Chico Poly Progress 5, um, which I have here in the box in front of me. So I'm going to open it up, assemble it on camera and talk through some of the things that I've found. And by the end of the video, I hope you'll just, uh, be able to decide whether it's the right purchase for you. Now, the first thing I noticed when getting the product in was how heavy the box is. It's a very substantial sized box, um, which hints to the quality of the high chair inside. Um, but what is most unusual really, or struck me, was this big zero plus on the box. So for a high chair, you're expecting it to be suitable for six months plus when your child starts to um, uh, eat for the first time and test out those finger foods but um, increasingly um, manufacturers have been making them suitable from birth so your child can actually sit in these little chairs and like this little baby here take their milk as well as experiment with first foods so let's open the box and see how it looks now um, Chico um, are an Italian brand and it says here that um, the product is made in Italy um, and yes, indeed, we have some multi-language information here, along with some pictures of the different modes that we can expect from the Poly Progress 5. So as I mentioned before, the newborn mode, and then looks like a little booster chair, and also the traditional high chair setup. So we're going to look at all those in turn. So inside the box, the Poly Progress 5 from Chico comes um, sort of shrink wrapped in this plastic here. Um, all feels nice and solid um, and buffered at the end some polystyrene. It looks like this there's a frame here and then tucked in the side some kind of seat fabric. So I'm going to get all this out and we'll see exactly what you get in the box. As you can see the Poly Progress 5 um, is named for the five different modes that we can create from this high chair and it comes very securely wrapped in this uh, polythene here which I am now going to snip off. First out is the tray. And then next up, we have a some kind of booster unit in grey here and some kind of mechanical bits, which I'm just going to pop to one side for a moment. And out comes the booster seat with a, what looks like a harness, a user guide, great. Um, oh, some kind of foot plate. And then of course, the 
frame itself, which goes very sturdy and is wrapped very well. So what I'm most interested in about the Poly Progress is that you can use it from birth, like I said before. So according to the instructions, we start with this frame, which opens out like so. Nice and, gosh, that is really, really robust. That feels like quite a wide um, sort of high chair. Um, very, very secure, very stable. And look, here it sells us, it can take up to 30 kilos, um, which is quite some weight. Um, right. That the frame unfolded. Now let's look at the booster. Actually, next I'm going to extend this footrest here. I really like how easily that moves. You just press the buttons in either side. And it comes right up. Cool. And to variable leg positions, which is going to be great for our little one when they want to either lay right back with their legs out or upright with their legs down. Now I've just put the booster, attached it to the frame, and that was really, really simple. Just by uh, pressing this button on the side, you have two dark grey buttons on this model, push them up and push them in to get them really firm onto the frame. Let's try that again. Cool. While I've got the bare bones of the um, poly Chico um, Chico Poly Progress 5 out. Um, I thought it'd be good to sort of take a look around um, without any of the fabrics on. And you can see at the back that by pressing this button underneath, you can recline the seat into different positions all the way to, well, practically lie flat. So that must be the newborn position. And then up. That feels really, really solid. I like that. And now let's soften it up a bit. This is the seat fabrics. Um, it feels very substantial, like the rest of the, um, the Poly Progress. Um, it has this zip here, which I believe allows us to remove this external part. So this must be in newborn mode here. So somehow I need to attach this onto the high chair. Um, I've got a zip part at the back. So let's have a little play around with that. So I've managed to hook the seat fabric over on the back like so. So you've got that hole there matches that one. And then it's just a case of unclipping the harness, which is a five point harness and threading the parts through under there and out through your chosen height position on the front. And here they come, wiggle, 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 nice and easy. And then we'll just do the same with the sides like this. This one. And the other. I have to say, I'm liking how easy this one is to put together so far. Very impressive. So there we have the harness in place. Five point safety harness. Um, fabrics on the front of here all feel good, nice and padded, um, definitely waterproof, wipeproof, which is essential, of course, in a high chair. Um, now, like I mentioned before, this is a newborn mode, so effectively your child can lay right back in this very padded and comfortable seat and chill out there effectively after having a bottle or some milk. Um, and relax there with the rest of the family, which is really lovely. Um, you know, you don't want necessarily your child to be in their cot straight after eating. It's nice to, for them to interact with the rest of the family. So that's, that's a lovely little feature. As I mentioned earlier, this footrest is completely adjustable, sort of flippy, flippy. You just press this button here to move it up and down. So at the moment I have it in the most flat position for your newborn. Right, so that was newborn mode. Um, mode two, let's say your baby has now reached six months and they're not necessarily going to need all this sort of padded head area. So Chico have made it quite easy to convert it into a regular traditional high chair. Uh, this sort of clever way by simply zipping off this back section and unzipping it there. 
Now that we're in traditional high chair mode, um, there's a couple of things that you can do to make it more versatile for your growing baby. Like we mentioned before, you can bring the seat position up so that it's nice and upright rather than laid back. And you can adjust the height of the legs nice and easily. Um, what else? Of course, I should have mentioned the tray. Um, this is the first thing that came out the box. Oh, it's on wheels. That's handy. So even with one hand, I can move this high chair around nice and easily, which would be handy if we're moving our dinners from different rooms. And then this tray just clips onto the front. But first, of course, I need to extend out the arms. Press that button there. There's one. Oh, it's because it's new. It's all feeling very, very stable and secure. Um, but it's clicking nicely now I've got it moving. So there are the arms for the tray. And as you can see, it has numbers on there too. One through, one through four. So we can move the tray depth forward and back, which is great as our child gets bigger. To attach the tray on the Chico Poly 5, just reach for this slider underneath and pop it on nice and, nice and tightly. And of course, if you want to make it more comfortable for your child to sit on or extend out their legs, you can grab this footrest here. So not only can you move this angle, but you can add this on too at different heights. Don't be scared to push it in and give it a really good clunk. There we go. Now your child can rest their legs either sitting upright or in more laid back mode. Another useful feature of the Chico Poly Progress is the booster seat mode. So let's say you're going to grandma's house, you don't want to take the whole high chair with you. You can simply lift by means of these buttons under here to create this cool little booster seat, which you can attach to a dining room chair. So that's really, really useful if you're going out to eat somewhere or away for the night, like I mentioned. And in fact, if you press the back button right to flat, you can turn this booster into a really neat little package to pop in the back of the car. I mean, that weighs nothing at all. And it is a really stable and portable um, seat for your babes. And in case you're wondering, how on earth do I make sure that I attach this booster safely to a dining chair? There are straps underneath which you, un you pull out and then attach um, nice and securely. So that's nothing to worry about there. And to get to the straps, you simply lift this little wardrobe. Ta-da! And there they are. Tucked away really nice and neat. And last but not least, you can, with the booster seat removed and the footrest removed, use this as a little, little chair for a toddler. So you can bring that up to the dining table or a craft table. And as I said, it will take up to 30 kilos. So we know this is going to be good for around three years old. And beyond indeed. So just to recap on the different modes, it explains it very nicely here in the illustration. You have your traditional high chair set up um, for newborns from zero plus, remove the outside there, and you can then use the booster seat mode um, at the dining chair. Um, you can adjust the heights, you can bring it to a different to table level. Um, you can even use the booster with the tray, which is something I didn't mention. Um, so that gives you more, even more flexibility. And finally, you can use um, the um, frame as a chair um, as well on its own without the booster on top. One thing I'm keen to mention also is how easily it folds. Just by pressing these buttons under these round handles here, it goes into this nice um, straight fold. So it's, you know, with the seat upright, it's easy to store once you finish using it. And this camera angle explains better than I just did about how neatly it stacks up there. So that in a nutshell was the Chico Poly Progress 5 um, high chair. Um, five different modes suitable from birth. That's its major USP, if you like, um, through this padded area here that zips off 
um, to create a regular traditional high chair seat. Um, other useful modes as well, um, booster seat mode that you can use for out and about. Um, this lovely wide tray here. Um, I would say it's um, most uh, impressive feature. It's just how solid and easy it is um, to use and assemble. Um, it's larger than other high chairs that I have reviewed. This area here is over 30 centimetres at the head width area near the high harness. So that's going to feel really good if your baby, you know, is on the larger side or needs lots of room to grow. Um, that's something you'd be looking for. Um, yeah, it feels very robust, possibly a little bit on the heavier side. But, you know, that's what you get, I guess. Um, in terms of the height adjustable settings, you've got eight here. So lots of longevity, lots of uh, room to grow. Um, the features feel really solidly built, like this with, um, adjustable footrest and um, wipeable seat fabrics here. Um, made in Italy, like I mentioned before, and suitable from birth to three years old. So you're going to get lots of use out of this one. And if you'd like to know more about the Poly Progress 5, please visit buggybaby.co.uk. Thanks very much. In this review, I'm going to be comparing the Joy Multiply 6-in-1 high chair versus the Chico Poly Progress 5. And if you're in the market for a new high chair, you'll know that high chairs don't just do one thing anymore. They could do lots of things, which makes them really great value for money. And in fact, both of these high chairs can um, go into different modes. Um, the main difference that I've noticed um, is that the Poly Progress 5 is suitable from birth, whereas the Joy Multiplier is suitable from six months. This is due to this padded headrest area, I guess, um, on the Poly Progress, which is removable um, as your baby grows um, to make uh, into a regular traditional high chair. So if you're looking for something from the six months from, from birth, then the Poly Progress is the one for you. That said, um, both high chairs offer very comfortable um, positions for new babies. Um, the newborn recline here, um, as I've shown on the Poly Progress, and the six month position recline here um, on the Joy Multi Multiply. Both very, very comfortable for your young baby um, with adjustable footrests here on the Joy Multiply and also on the Poly Progress. So you can change this angle to suit your baby. And they both do that in similar ways. Um, and in fact, the footrest uh, positioning here is identical. You literally pull it out and push it in to your required level. Seen here on the joint multiply and here on the poly progress. In three different heights. So moving on to some more traditional high chair mode, um, the Multiply has five different height settings on the legs to go up and down and the Poly Progress has eight. So that's a slight difference there. As you can see clearly from this comparison, the headrest area on the um, Joy Multiply is slightly smaller than the Poly Progress 5. Um, so, you know, if you're wanting more space, this might, for your child's um, growing body, this might be the one for you. But that said, um, the Multiply is certainly roomy enough. Um, and what I do like about the Multiply is it has this um, insert that you can use at six months and take it out once your child grows to create more room. In terms of weaning and first snacks, the Joy Multiplier has a really fantastically wide tray, actually, very impressive. Um, one of the reasons is because this actually has another function, which we'll talk about later. Um, that's not to say the Chico doesn't have a perfectly good and roomy tray. They both have um, these nice moulded cup holders, which are essential for uh, avoiding spills. Another neat function of both the Multiplier on the left and the Poly Progress on the right is that you can detach these units, use them as booster seats to take out and about with you, which is useful if you're not at home. Um, in terms of the harnesses, they both have very simple five point clicky clicky harnesses, nice and safe and secure. But you'll notice that the Joy Multiply has extendable arms, which is gonna be quite useful when you bring this um, booster seat up to a table, because it can give your child a little bit more place to support their arms. And you can fold these away too. Um, for safety, as you'd expect, both have straps 
underneath that allow you to attach these to dining room tables, um, dining room chairs even. On the um, multiply, you will find these um, in a neat little compartment underneath and the same um, sort of thing going on here with the Chico. So these kind of straps. It's not too much difference in that respect. Another similarity is that you can add the trays um, to the boosters. So that gives um, your child extra support when they are at the dining, you know, they don't actually have to be at the dining table to have their own little table, but still be raised to the same height as you when you're out and about. And in a final, how cool is that moment? We can see that both of these high chairs um, will last your child well beyond the baby years and into toddlerhood. Um, on the right, we have the poly progress with the booster seat removed and into a chair that your child can sit on. So that's nice and sturdy, nice toddler chair. Um, but on the other hand, we also have the joy multiply with the tray and um, used as a little sketching or a TV table um, with this great little mini seat here. Um, which I have to say is my favourite mode of all of these. Um, not that I'm biased. So there we are. It really depends what you're looking for in all of these. And I'll just move to my final recap now. So in summary, the Joy Multiply or the Chico Poly Progress 5. Well, they're both similar in price. Um, they are similar in terms of their basic fu functionality in that they both have the height adjustable legs, the adjustable foot rests, um, the lovely seat uh, wipeable seat fabrics and large trays with cup holders. Um, the difference really comes down to their suitability for different ages. Um, so if you're looking for a high chair that is suitable from birth, then the Poly Progress is for you. Um, however, if you're wanting a high chair that will last you right through the baby years and into toddler mode, then the Multiply 6-in-1 has the edge for me. Um, yes, this one here, you can create a toddler uh, seat from it, but this one has that extra um, benefit of being able to create the playtime table and chair, which is suitable all the way to six years old. Um, so Poly Progress 5, Newborn to three years, joy multiply, six months to 72 months, which is around six years old. Um, in terms of prints and fabrics, you'll find um, different um, things to choose from at buggybaby.co.uk. Um, and we hope to see you there soon. And so you can make the right choice for you. For any more um, questions about this product, please visit our YouTube channel and find us in the comments. Thanks very much.